long-term liabilities in financial accounting. There's many different types, and remember that a liability is a responsibility to, an, to another person. In other words, a promise you've made. So a long-term liability means a promise you're going to fulfill when? Not soon, but later. And there's many types. One is called a notes payable. These are notes payable that are due in more than a year. So an example would be like your student loan or your car loan because you've promised to pay that, say, uh, a long time from now. Now there are portions of those notes payable that if they come due in the next year, that's the current portion of the long-term liability. So you can have for a note payable both a current portion, the, the loan payments that you're going to make in the next year, and the long-term portion, which are the payments you're going to make in uh, more than a year from now. There's also something called bonds. And this is where you learn that I grew up in Chicago because I say that word a little funny. So bonds payable means that a corporation comes up with these legal instruments that they sell. Now you know bonds as savings bonds, um, and you know you don't get the money back from those very quickly, do you? No. It takes them a while. So bonds payable is where we're going to spend a, a bit of our time. There's also something called leases. And there's two types of leases. One is a long-term lease, and that's called a capital lease. And a capital lease means that you're signing a contract that you promise to um, take care of and use that piece of property, whether it's an apartment or whether it's a car, for a period of longer than a year. And with that, you basically have um, similar rights that an owner does. There's another type of lease called an operating lease. And an operating lease is like a rental agreement. It's a short-term lease that you're basically renting the use of something for a short period of time. So operating lease, short, uh, just basically having the use of. Capital lease, long-term lease, looks and feels more like ownership, although you do have to give the asset back at the end of the lease. Mortgages. Now, instead of leasing a car or leasing an apartment, you could go out and buy, couldn't you? And if you buy a piece of property or a building or a house, you'll get a mortgage. And a mortgage is a long-term commitment or a long-term promise to pay back that money that you borrowed in order to buy that house or that piece of real estate. Pensions. Pensions are something that hopefully you won't see for quite a while because you're young, but pensions are something that you need to be very aware of when you start to go to work. There's two basic kinds. There's pensions and there's profit sharing. Pensions means that uh, your employer basically puts away money for you and when you retire, you're going to get a certain percentage of your highest uh, wage or salary paying years, which is pretty nice. It's a, called a pension plan. You don't see these too much because now what you'll see instead is a profit sharing plan. And a profit sharing plan is where uh, the employer takes a bit of your salary or your wage uh, every pay period and puts it away or you invest it in a profit sharing plan. So in other words, you're contributing to that plan, and that's called a defined contribution plan. Uh, pensions are called defined benefit plans. So when you get ready to retire, we see how much you sh socked away in your profit sharing plan, and then your retirement benefits will be based upon how much you've saved in that profit sharing plan or that defined contribution plan. So these are some examples of long-term liabilities in this chapter. Uh, we're going to spend a lot of our time talking about bonds, so stay tuned.